St. Mary's is now in search of a new boys basketball head coach. As today, Dan Hegemeyer turns in his letter of resignation after 33 years on the bench, last six with the Rough Riders. Hegemeyer won the three state titles, two at Fort Lormie, and of course the undefeated season at New Knoxville in 2008, and retires with 524 career wins. Well, it certainly seems like 524 straight days with rain, and this week's top five plays, Austin Scott goes back to last spring for the top plays. A reminder of what spring sports look like, and Hopefully, a harbinger of what's to come from here on out. We start our flashback edition of the top five plays with Wapakoneta softball last season taking on LCC. Alexis Schwartz at the dish with the bases loaded. She rips this pitch into deep right center, and it's gone. The grand salami for the senior gave Wapakoneta a 4-0 lead in the top of the first. More from the Redskins at number four. Chase Culver with one of the best individual performances of last baseball season against Bath. Top of the six, two on. Culver smashes this one to left. Spaloosh! A three-run jack for the senior on his way to a perfect day at the plate. Six of six with half a dozen RBIs. Don't worry, Culver got off the bus on Slabtown Road to pick up his souvenir after the game. State track and field leaps to the third spot. LCC's Mike Hale Rogers with his state championship worthy long jump here. He takes gold while teammate Jameer Coleman gets silver with his PR setting jump. More gold hardware being handed out at number two. Bath Wild Kittens looking to capture the softball crown. Final inning against Jonathan Alder. Alyssa Manley gets underneath this infield fly to seal the state championship win for Bath. Their second in school history and first since 2004. Coldwater Baseball hits the top spot of this throwback countdown. Final inning of the state finals against Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. Derek Toby camps out underneath this pop-up and reels it in for the state championship winning out. Watch for Brody Hoying coming out of right field as he jumps up and over the pile with the somersault finish. Looked a lot like this past football season. The Cavaliers finish the season with a 30-4 record. I'm really looking forward to see what the spring sports season has in store for us this year. Hopefully more area teams will be bringing home state championship trophies.